Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christy's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, Round 7. And if you want to check out Instagram or post to lay out yourself to Instagram, it's hashtag 30DSCBL7. And this is a sketch we're using today, but I'm only going to use one photo. And oh my goodness, I forgot about that circle around the other one. I probably wouldn't have done it anyway. <laughs> because I think it looks like stitches from a sewing machine. I plan on using those star stitch dies and my wood grain embossing folder. Yeah, folder. <laughs> and my Tim Holtz uh, little branches and one or two stickers maybe. I think I only end up using one actually. And since I have all my hunting paper together and all my camping kids kind of stuff together. I'm going to be mixing photo play, echo park, and simple stories. Yeah, it's, it's going to have a variety on here. And I'm going to be using that picture of my nephew, Ricky. And he had asked for camo and a gun for Christmas. Well, you probably notice he's not smiling. He's pretty young, but for some reason he thought his gun was going to be a real gun. It is not a real gun. But he ends up playing with it anyway. And he does look like a hunter there. A serious hunter. And I have to brag on him. You know, he's older now. He's 15. Same age as the girls. There's like three weeks difference in their ages. And he's a older. And guess what he wants for Christmas this coming year? My brother says he's probably not going to get it. Because he called and asked me the prices. But he wants a good camera. Yay! I'm so proud of him. But they've got seven kids. And they try to spend the same amount on all of them. And the grandkids. And the price for the nice digital camera was a little bit too much. I did tell him to double check on Black Friday though. Uh, I did my star with my star largest star die and I ran it through my wood grain embossing folder and as you can see I put some twine on it and I'm trying to decide where to put what and what I did want to put on there and I wanted to put that cute little raccoon. Ricky's gun will be pointed in the opposite direction of that cute little raccoon though. Yeah he is not going to stay down in the bottom left corner. I am going to put him where he's at right now and I'm going to put the tree ring. That's a Tim Holtz tree ring. It comes with an embossing folder and a Biggs die so that you can make your tree ring more realistic. And I really love that thing. But other than that Santa Claus, I have yet to see something of Tim Holtz that I don't love. I admit on a video that there was a few mistakes made on that one. And they learn from that. Now I'm trying to decide how far over to put my picture. And still have room for that big star. Because you know there's a star on the sketch. And still get my little raccoon in there. I am going to have a few more things than they do. Instead of the chevron. I'm going to have the little raccoon with a log. And some trees in the background. And the banner. I was trying to think of what to put there. I came up with several ideas. None of which were the triangle banner. I even thought of hanging fish up there. But finally I decided I'm going to put my banner at the bottom instead. I know it's got like a little strip across the bottom on the original. But I'm going to combine the two kind of sort of. And it does look like they may have intended for all the sprinkles to go on first. You know like mixed media because there's some that might be some mixed media mixed in there. However, I didn't notice that at first. I just kind of glanced at it, I guess. Yeah, I wasn't doing my job right. And I thought, I want my sprinkles on last. Because I like some of the sprinkles on my ephemera and stuff. But I did have fun making this layout. I did, however, skip day eight. Because, yeah, it's got angles on it. Triangles and stuff. And I'm going to think about it a little while before I do it. So I thought, oh, I could do this one instead. So I skipped on to day nine. I think that's it. I think, you know, that's what's in my head anyway. And I thought, thank goodness we're doing it ahead or I'd be stuck trying to figure out something at the last minute. 
four day eight that is this one wasn't so so much of a problem I, the biggest part of it is the star and I knew I could do that I even thought about making one handmade so to be as big as theirs because theirs is kind of taller and skinnier than mine but then I decided I wanted the stitches on there which you can hardly see after I ran it through the embossing folder but they're on there but I didn't know this until I was like halfway done with the layout because it's in little tiny letters. It says long, long title or something like that. Yeah, tiny letters for the long, long title. And it says it right up at the top of the layout. So I don't know if it meant for you to put it all the way up there or not. But I glanced at it, didn't really pay attention where it was at. And thought, okay, it's got to go in the upper right-hand corner. That's what I had in my head. So my title will go up there. And it will be longer than I originally planned. So I had to think of something to fit in that space that was longer. And, yeah, <laughs> I had to work on that. Oh, I'm working on my banner now, too. Oh, yeah, and I am using American Crafts, too. Because this is Chamel. And it came with Never Grow Up. And it says, no limits, play all day, fresh air, discover, and kids only. And I'm going to string it across the bottom. And I really didn't have room for an extra one on the other side of the tree ring. And if I'd had a partial one, I would have stuck it on there. But I didn't. But I think there is some partial somewhere. So if I end up finding it, I'll probably stick it on there. But I was thinking I went ahead and cut them out and put them to the side in case I could tuck them somewhere. Yeah, you know, I like to tuck. But that was after I'd done the others and put them in a little Ziploc baggy thingy and stuck the edges all back into my fussy cutting little, well, it's a 12 by 12 paper thing because it does have paper in there when I do get a chance to fussy cut I pull that out but I looked and they weren't there no more but I put the brown twine all the way through these and well jute I think it's jute and I'm gonna go ahead and ink some stars and put them on there just because I'm liking them I made extra anyway because I wasn't sure exactly what I was gonna do with the layout I knew I was going to use all this stuff I pulled, which was plenty, but I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do. You know how it is. I was skipping day eight, so I wouldn't feel guilty. I hurried up and jumped into day nine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I ought to mention about everybody down there below. They, there will be links for everybody doing it. There will be a link to Christy, who is the host, and her Facebook group. There also is a link for Christina Sorge because every day she's doing a live layout on the Facebook group Redefine Creative. And then links to all the gals doing them on YouTube and Instagram. So you got lots and lots of inspiration down there if you'd like to check it out. And Christy posts a photo of the sketch for each day early in the day. So if you would like to join in, you can put your layout in that post down in the comment section. And I will be too, and so will the others. So you can get all kinds of inspiration right there together. So yeah, check out the Facebook group for sure. Well, back to the layout, if I can figure out where I'm at. Uh, oh, I am putting a little piece of ephemera it just says critters on there and I inked it up and it's going to go on that star I'm just putting that down there because I was wanting three stars together that big star yeah I thought well I if I had anything else well I only cut out smaller ones I didn't cut the next size down or nothing they were quite a bit smaller I thought those won't look too good together and there's only one by itself up there. And I'm adding the extra on my own just because I like them. And I put one over there on the nature trail. Now, I really want three together just because I like them that way. And, oh, now I'm doing the title. And the title 
It says, adventures await in the wilderness. Just hike and be happy. How about that for a long title? I mean, a long, long, long title. Yeah, that's what it says on the sketch. And I think I'm about done. I do have my sprinkles yet to go. And I think that's it. I don't put as many as they have. I had the Mr. Huey's and it's Manila. And I really can't understand it being Manila because, you know, when I think of Manila, I think of a vanilla color. And a lot of people call that vanilla. But this is a charcoal gray. However, I've had them a long time that I didn't use them. So it could be it started out manella and got darker over the years. I don't know. But I sprinkled it on there. And every time I, like I said, sprinkle the Mr. Huey's, I just don't get very many sprinkles. I get tired before I get done. So, yeah, it don't have near as many sprinkles as they have on theirs. And that's it. That's my layout. If you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And those of you who already are, thank you so much. But, uh, yeah, see, there aren't very many sprinkles at all. But that's okay. That's okay. I would have liked just a little more. But like I said, I got tired of it. I mean, I'd take that little thing and shake it and nothing would come off. I'd dip it back in there. Nothing would come off. So, yeah, I settled for this. But I hope you all have a happy, scrappy week. Take care and stay safe. Bye.